Today, I'm going to react to some more secret TTD leaks. Let's get right into this. But real quick, guys, before I pull up to Landtrick's video here, the winner of the 370,000 subscribers special giveaway is popping up on the screen right now. Congratulations, dude. Just accept that friend request within a day, and I will get you that unit ASAP, all right? Hey, guys, you know it already. We're going to be doing a 380k special mythic giveaway as well. And all you got to do to enter that awesome little giveaway is leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and of course, head on over to my website, ltcrazy.com, and I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, guys, once you're on my website, scroll on down and click the giveaways button. Once this page loads up on the top, you got the signed mythic giveaway. If you scroll down a little bit more, you got the giveaway for the next stream. So make sure you join both of those. And also on the top, you got the toilet tower defense page. Click this so you can find the accurate value of any unit in the entire game. You can just use the search bar or use these like little buttons here. Once you guys do that, you'll never get scammed again. So happy training and let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so here is Talantric's video. It says secret leaks in toilet tower defense. Let's see what they are. I'm going to react to them. You guys let me know your opinions in the comments, and we'll see if we agree on some of these upcoming updates that will be in the game. So here we go, guys. Every time I do leak videos, I always talk about the upcoming update, but this video, I'll actually be telling you guys what we plan to do in the future. Ooh, that's actually pretty exciting, so it's not going to be about the Christmas. The toilet tower defense and the future of the game. So, okay, um, hey, we'll take that. We need some future like here. Subscribe, uh, then Paul guys, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Tap. Quick, you gotta do it or else, uh, uh oh, uh -oh. Palm, Palm Paradise. Paradise oh, you guys better go subscribe to Talantric, all right? Oh, Smash that subscribe button. Let's get up to two million. Also, comment your ideas for the game and like the comments of the ideas you like, and then I'll check the top comments. And see you guys should comment some ideas in my, uh, you know, comments as well. And if I see him, I can send them on over to him because I'm friends with Talantric on Discord. So maybe he'll be able to see my messages a little bit easier, guys. And some of the units are already done being scripted. So just that's good. Needs that means Christmas should be soon. A little bit more UI needs to be made. So the goal is still December 9th for that releasing. That's solid, this boys. Update, this weekend. Most likely another episode will come out. Because there was a new episode three days ago. It seems like there's one every week and a couple days. Jeez, so boys. I haven't even... Like, I can't even tell you the last time I've seen one of the episodes. Two days of the Christmas update. So we'll work on that. But after that, we're going to start on the New Year's update. So I wonder if that's going to be big. It's going to be pretty small. Oh, no. Small. That's okay. Okay. The Surely there's gonna be something cool though. It'd be a cool new unit. The end of January, maybe around the middle of January, but at that time we'll have a lot of time to pretty much do whatever we want. So he's not kidding when he says that. Like after January, guys, there's like Valentine's and that's it. There's like no other holidays. Yo, endless mode. Is it actually coming? Like a voting thing. Like every map you teleport to will have the normal easy, medium, hard, and nightmare, along with like endless mode. So like it should just be on the right side, probably. Maybe they'll add a new map though. Who knows? But I think every map should have endless mode. Just has like a difficulty thing. So some of the maps would definitely be a lot easier to do. That is true. Palm Paradise would be super easy. I'm thinking for endless mode that it should have its own area in the lobby. So okay, that's fair. How, like, a whole new map. Guys, we need a new map, boys. Well, like, I mean, I know we'll get a Christmas map, but, like, we need a base a game map that we could play. I feel like we haven't had something right new in this game in a really long time. What do you guys think? Probably gonna be one map at first, and then we'll add, like, a second map later. Now we just need a leaderboard to track how many, like, rounds you get to or whatever wave you get to. I want to... My goal is to be the number one wave guy. That would be sick. It's gonna be tough, though. I'll try, though. Stuff like that. But that's the goal for January. In February, we're gonna have the Valentine's Day event. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That'll probably be a pretty big... Like, insane, no? Massive. Not so massive? Okay, well, hey. At least it'll be something. All of March will also have, like, no big... Yeah, March event. is gonna be a boring so month, boys. probably when we'll try adding a PvP game mode. So Ooh, PvP is March. Is the map PvP? Be I was saying this for ever, guys. Mode, the original TDS game was so sick when they had the PvP mode. Mode. that will be so much fun the streams will be back that will be amazing guys imagine how good the streams will be once we do pvp against each other holy smokes that's gonna be insane we might even add it where you can spawn enemies for money on the other person's side at that waves difficulty so maybe instead of placing a unit for 500 dollars, you can spawn an that makes sense toilet on their side i don't know we'll see, see like in the old game you used to like decision. you know build up your money and then you would buy units to attack the other guy or you could play the defensive strategy and just like protect your own base with your units so makes sense what he said but pvp will 
basically also be like endless where it will literally just keep going but it will stop okay once someone dies, sounds good to me we'll take it so it's like pvp up, endless mode you'll fight people around your score so sounds like skill-based matchmaking don't be like call of duty delantic don't be call of duty please call of duty so boring VIP server, you can queue with your friends or something to fight them. That'd be fun. We'll I hope so. New area for that. so most I surely hope we can do it. that will be the best streams ever. Remake the lobby so that everything can fit pretty well. I mean, I'm still looking. I think that this lobby looks really good. This is probably the best lobby yet, but I do miss the old ones. And stuff like that. But of course, in April, we'll have an April Fools event. Then I'm not too sure what. I wonder if that's gonna be a big one. Probably not. Definitely the summer mode though. We need that. I guess we can just continue working on optimizing the game and we'll just that's kind of interesting i mean that's a good thing but you know hopefully Actually, new units and stuff I have decided. I just remembered and we need may to add something let's to see trading. here and my plan trading like a server marketplace oh so that'd be like pet sim okay so if you guys never played pet sim they have like trading boots put up their units for sale in the marketplace yeah exactly friends, so you can like hop between servers and that will just be a very easy yeah we'll take that guys get units i mean we could do that or we could do boots for every player we can have yeah there we go he's talking about boots now too. but i think a server marketplace would be a marketplace boots option. hey whatever so both like why not do both right looking at the prices of each person's things on the booth when other people in that server could be selling it for cheaper so i just think a server marketplace makes like the most that sense. does make sense i agree with them like but so if that happens people are just always going to be like selling for like one coin less you know but after that june july we'll have a summer event summer and event and yo like there we go that'd be fun i can't wait for it to be summer again guys camera, it's winter right now and it like stinks it's snowing out and stuff not fun and and then Halloween event, and then the cycle will continue. When the All right, Christmas guys. That's actually a pretty good cycle, though. Halloween, you know, like Thanksgiving, release, Christmas event, New Year's event, all that stuff. Just repeat. Very good. That. And then people wanted more maps, so we added that. Mythics, and we added that. We need so, something better than Mythics now. Like, I know we have Godlies, but they're like, you know, there's only one. So we need something, like, really good. Upgrade again for a while, because if you guys know, the upgraded Titan Cinema Man was the most recent unit to get upgraded. So next will probably be, like, the Cameraman and the Speaker Man. And then they'll probably get upgraded again later, so... They definitely need to be upgraded again, because some of these units are getting weak. Than Godly, because, I mean, okay, let's be honest, Godly isn't even that rare. Like 30 that is true. There's only like like less than 10k. So yeah, Spider TVs. I was gonna say there's like less than 10k. What did it say? 7.2k. That's crazy. Godlies aren't even that rare. It would be insanely rare, but still like at least a few thousand would exist. It would probably be about as rare as Spider TV actually. But that right like imagine what what would it become like past Godly though? Like I don't even know a name for it. They're most likely gonna get rarer, so when we have a second one, probably like twenty thousand will exist. I I can't wait for the second one. I hope that in the but Christmas event there's a second godly. That'd be nice. I need something to also, try to hatch, you know. Boosting units, which is what I'm planning for. The boosting next units. Crate. So oh, that sounds fun. Crate is probably gonna be gone. Rip the spider crate, guys. To do that, because Evan said he's gonna have to like rewrite all of the old Ooh, units. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Older units, Poor Evan. Newer units are scripted slightly differently, so the older ones would have to be rescripted for boosts to be able to be applied to them. So adding a support boosting units that like that is gonna be range, tough job for the uh, development team, guys. They have to rewrite everything. To that could break the so game Spider totally. It's gonna be here for at least like another, I'd have to say month. But the okay, Spider Crate's gonna be here for a while guys basically like that's like the halloween crate still i feel like and it's gonna be here for so long you guys have so much of an opportunity to get it yeah still no timer guys we uh you know we definitely don't have like a an official date when this uh you know new update's actually coming out which is you know kind of unfortunate because you know he says december 9th but we don't know for certain but the bad thing is december 9th is also the update for Pets in 99, which will steal a lot of players away and make this update, you know, less. So I think if I were them, I would update this game December 8th, get the hype built uh, before Pets in, and then all the players will be here trying to grind for the new stuff on here instead of on Pets in. That's what I would do if I was a dev, but, you know, it's always tough to compete with other big games, and, you know, everyone releases their updates, like, in the early weekend. So 
you know, maybe Monday updates. I don't know. Stuff like that could really switch it up and make it interesting. But I, I get the, the reason that, you know, have it on the weekend. Most players are playing during the weekend. So that makes sense. But it's just tough because then all those other games are competing. But, hey, guys, at the end of the day, make sure you subscribe to Talantric. He's the one that released that video, not me. So shout out to him for making an awesome video and allowing us to react to it. All right? And with that being said, if you guys liked my video and you guys like to see my challenges and other, like, you know, tips, tricks, stuff like that, smash the subscribe button on my channel so you guys don't miss out on future videos make sure you click that bell too so it notifies you all right with all that being said guys i will see you in the next one if you want to watch another video from me check out the one under screen right now it's pretty darn awesome however it's a pet sim video but i encourage you guys to go check out my pet sim series we are uh, starting something awesome over there so if you guys like pet sim go check it out all right i'll see you guys over there now click it adios